It's a cartoon for tweens about biblical themes. They produce little plays, they get carried away. A flamingo, a sock, yeah, most things can talk. Connect. There's Tina and Joey and Becky and Todd. There's Lena and Jerry, they're already on fire. They still find a way to learn more about God. God. Gentlemen, welcome to the baptism of Jesus. In Isaiah, it was written, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way, the voice of the one crying out in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. And so it was that John the Baptist appeared from the wilderness. Hey, guys, it's me, John the Baptist. Come, come and be baptized and be redeemed for the one who shall come after me, the one whose sandal I am unworthy to stoop down and untie, the one who will not baptize you with water, but the Holy Spirit. Who's first? <laughs> baptized! Do you feel redeemed for the arrival of the one who shall come after me, the one whose sandal I am unworthy to stoop down and untie, the one who will not baptize you with water, but the Holy Spirit? I do! Next! Baptized! Baptized! And baptized! Hallelujah! Oh, time for my locust and honey break. <gasps> the one who shall come after me. Etc. Hello, John the Baptist. Hey there, future savior of the world. Locust and honey sandwich. I call them sticky locos. John, I need you to baptize me. Ha <laughs> ha, no can do, Jesus. Have a sticky loco. What? Uh, John, I really need you to baptize me. Not gonna happen. But nope. Ah, uh -uh. not gonna do it. Todd, what are you doing? That's not in the script or the Bible. Look, Jesus, you are the one I've been prophesying about. If I'm not worthy to untie your sandal, I'm definitely not worthy to baptize you. But just improvise through it. Oh. Instead of baptizing you, Jesus, how about we dig a hole for some reason? God, what are you doing? Becky, I've been doing research, and I've come to the conclusion that John the Baptist never would have baptized Jesus. Uh... Yes, he would. He did. Todd, I told you, no more theological debates in the middle of a performance. John was baptizing everybody to redeem them for Jesus' arrival. Jesus wouldn't need to be redeemed for his own arrival, and the Son of God wouldn't need to repent. None of it makes any sense, Beck. Todd, I'm replacing you with the understudy. Now that I think about it, Jesus has already arrived, so why do we get baptized? Hannah? You're going on for Todd. Wait, what? You can't do that. Thank you for the opportunity. Now get out there and baptize Jesus. Ho, ho, ho. Not on my watch. I don't know what came over me a second ago, but I am now ready to baptize you, Jesus. No! Oh, uh, who are you? I'm John the Baptist. I'm John the Baptist. There can be only one. Oh, boy. Jesus, the real John the Baptist would never try and baptize you. This man is a fraud. What? No, I'm not. Todd, uh, John, I have to be baptized so I can start my ministry. You don't need my endorsement. Minister away. No, I need God's endorsement. <laughs> Give that back. Get your own bucket. Todd, <gasps> stop it. You're ruining the show. <sighs> I am the Holy Spirit. It. You are my son whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Baptized? I need a spotlight here. Okay, here's the thing. Jesus' baptism marked and identified him for God's purposes. It launched Jesus' ministry just as our own baptism launches us into our ministry through Christ, reminding us of our identity, our belonging, our mission. Got it? Good. The end. So baptism was God's ministry go button for Jesus, and now for us. Huh. I get it now. Now you get it?